What's going on guys? Jay Hoyd back with you today. Welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard. We are back here on Oasis. It's the first time I think we've played this map on, uh, you know, on content this year. You know, usually we've stuck with Das House because that's the only map I could ever really get a good gameplay on. But today we have some breaking news. Well, not breaking news. Breaking rumors, leaks whatever you want to call it, we have some big news to talk about. So this is from COD Gamespedia along with a couple of tweets that I don't remember who tweeted them, so I don't I don't have them screenshotted. But this original one is from Round Hill on Twitter. They say, Activision to delay next year's Call of Duty game. 2023 will be the first time in nearly two decades that the franchise will not have released an annual mainline release. A new Call of Duty game is still set to be uh, released this fall. Source is Bloomberg, whoever that is. Uh, and then Cobbs Gamepedia kind of reiterates this at the top there. Uh, it's set to be delayed uh, by Activision. And this will be the first time in nearly 20 years that this has happened. So let's talk about this. So we are currently in Vanguard. This is technically a 2021 release. So what we were talking about is not next year's, which would be a 2022 release. That, that's going to be Modern Warfare 2, or whatever they're calling it. So we are going to be talking about the 20 or the 2023-2024 Call of Duty. Since it's released in the fall, right before the new year, it's going to be a 23-24 release. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Try to rewatch it. But this is the game that we were talking about. The 23-24 release will be... Delayed. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be delayed. Now, this could mean one of two things. Is one, they want to perfect this game. They want to put all the work they can into it because everything else has been delayed or rushed with the pandemic. So they want to want more time to finish the game and not release a half-broken game on their scheduled release date. And the second thing is, is it's not even close to being ready for even a beta or, you know, to be released at all. Now, like I said, that means either a great thing or a very bad thing. But here's the thing to look out for in all of this news. Hopefully we get a really good game next year, right? The, the next release, Modern Warfare 2, like I said, whatever it's going to be called, hopefully that game is one of the best games we've seen in the arguably the last five years right even though before what was it before modern warfare was what was that black ops 4 i'm i might be mixing up my history here but black ops 4 black ops 3 were arguably two of the best games we've had in the last five six seven years and instead we've been kind of focused on this boots in the ground uh you know old style world war ii um you know boring theme that's been done since call of duty has been started and everyone's kind of getting sick of it in a way and i definitely am right personally if we, if you were asked me you and someone the development team came to me are we want you to be the spearhead to be the head guy of making the next call of duty let's start with planning this thing what era or what style would you want this next game to be in I would say modern. Now, I don't mean current day or future. I mean just modern, right? Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, those new style modern Call of Duties. I mean, Black Ops 2 was a little bit older, but Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 mainly, right? That's the era I'd want personally. A little bit more advanced, a little bit more cleaner, uh, you know, gameplay, cleaner maps, uh, less clunky, less things to look at. Because these last couple of Call of Duties, I feel like I haven't been able to see anything. And, like, I have the same eyesight as all, like, since a long time ago. And I feel like I just can't see anything anymore. So, hopefully, that's what Treyarch or... who I guess, would that be Treyarch? Because next one's Infinity Ward. I think it'd be Treyarch's release. Hopefully, they're like, hey, people are hating this old style. Let's switch it up. Let's do something modern. Hopefully, that's what they do. Hopefully they bring us a modern game instead of this World War II really old, oh, hard to see, and trying to make the best out of it. Now, here's also 
the big risk factor behind making this type of move is the next Call of Duty game comes out. Modern Warfare 2 has to be a great game. I don't mean just an average, decent, tolerable game. I mean a great game. Maybe not great, a good game, right? Has to have good gameplay, has to have good maps, has to have a good ranked play that comes out very short after the game's release, if not on release. The Call of Duty League has to start almost right as it's releasing, right a month after the first kickoff event. You have to have a lot of those things solidified. You have to have a good release in order to make this all worth it. Because if we're delaying a game, that must mean they need more time to either finish it or perfect it. So that way we're not having a half-broken, half-assed made game just thrown out there and then they just kind of work on it all year long. Like, hopefully that's what that means, is this game's going to be good enough that we can make it last two years. But then also, the community is not going to like this. Regardless of what game it is, they're not going to like it. Like, I feel like at this point, Call of Duty fans are just not happy with anything that gets released. And I would probably agree with that. And the reason I say that is, if you looked back at all of the Call of Duty games I've ever played, Going back to Black Ops 1, which was what, 2011, 2010, 2009? What year was Black Ops 1 released? Back to all the way back then, my playtime through all of those games, you get up to about Black Ops 4, and you hit Modern Warfare, you hit, um, what was after that, Cold War, and now you hit Vanguard. My playtime for those three Call of Duties has significantly dropped. Like, I have not enjoyed these last three Call of Duties enough. To want to play this game more than maybe once a week and that's only gonna be for a few hours you know at night let's just say now don't get me wrong there's not been a lot of perfect game call of duty games out there there's always been some kind of big problems with them but there's been games that i've tolerated enough that i would want to get on play all day all weekend long and not play any other game like literally nothing like if it was right now with nhl fifa mlb uh, Halo, um, Minecraft even, every once in a while. Uh, you know, I've never been able to play those games because Call of Duty was so good, right? I loved Call of Duty. But now I'm like, well, now I'm kind of getting burned out on all these other games, including Call of Duty, because I'm like, okay, haven't really been enjoying any of these games. NHL kind of is back a little bit, but even then... I mean, that could be a whole separate video of how I think about NHL right now. But even Halo kept coming out. It's changed everything. I've been en really enjoying playing that game. I'm not the best. I've never really been a Halo fan. I've only followed it when uh, Optic had a pro team. They still have a pro. Well, now they have a pro team again. So I've been watching more of it. Plus, the new game coming out. I've been really enjoying playing that more than Call of Duty. Because it's been a new, fresh experience. Although I'm not the best, I'm still having fun with it. But, like I said, to kind of bring back my point here, this next Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, or whatever it's going to be called, that game needs to last the next 18 months minimum, right? Has to keep it fresh, keep it balanced, have a good ranked play, have good maps, have good gameplay, and not be terrible in order for this huge risk of not releasing a game after that for an extra year it has to be all worth it, right? It has to be a good game. It, it cannot fail as a game like Vanguard, like Cold War, and like Modern Warfare did. Like, it has to be a good competitive game, good maps, good game. Like, everything I just said has to be in the game from day one. And I don't just mean a couple of good maps. I mean at least 10 plus good maps. Not just random maps thrown together. 10 good maps maps but we could probably make this into a part two i don't know if i'm going to or not but that's going to be it for today's video let me know of your thoughts and comments down below in the comment sections if you did enjoy hit that like button down below if you haven't yet or if you're brand new here make sure to subscribe turn those post notifications on so you never miss an upload and don't forget you can always change your mind later with all that being said guys we'll see you in the next one